So today we will explore Soundtrap. Here you can find the options, click on music. And on the right side, click the 8 note button here, you can find the loops. So you can find some drums, bass, piano and options. Now let's listen to them. So you can listen to a lot of things until you've chosen one thing that you would like to use. So I'll choose this one. So click and drag it to the center. Now you can see it's in loop. We can change that by clicking the orange button top so that it won't be on loop. Okay, so let's choose another instrument to add. Let's choose piano. And here on top, you have the suggestions. So choose which one fits best for your song. So I'm going to choose this and click and drag it again. Make sure to move your cursor. So I'm going to tone this down because it's a little bit overpowering. Okay, that's a little bit too soft, so let's turn it back up. There you go. Sounds better. So move the cursor again, and let's add one more. Let's add guitar and see which one fits best. Okay, I want to hear the sound of my music, so I'm going to play it and play that again. This one sounds better. We stop. Let's click and drag it again. There I have it. Let's listen to it. So let's name this part by clicking the plus section button and you can see the different parts of the song. I click on intro and just drag it down to the whole part. Let's duplicate everything. For a next part, so I just right click, click on copy, right click again, and click on paste. Now notice where my cursor is. I try to drag it where I want the next part to be pasted. That's a very important part if you want to copy the same loops, so keep that in mind. So let's rename this part as the verse which is the part usually after the intro. And let's add another loop for the verse. Let's add vocals. the verse in loop so I'm gonna drag this loop button there and make sure that it's aligned and click on the loop orange button and now that part will be in loop I can now test out which one sounds best okay this one sounds good let's add that and I can deselect the loop button and let's do that again. You can even mute some loops. Let's make the intro more distinct by removing a few loops. Let's see this. A little bit okay, let's try removing one more. Okay, now this sounds good. And once you're done, all you have to do is to click the export button, click on the MP3, and wait until your file is downloaded. Have fun!